Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Friday and we're uh, studying the next language point in our first scene, table for two. We've got the waitress and we got Wang Ming talking back and forth. And um, let me just grab this thing here, move it around. There we go. All right, so Just a reminder, first of all, where we're at. Okay, let's focus on that line right there. She says, This way, please, or this side. Bian means side, um, but we can think of it as this way. So this way, please. Jian Qing um, Qing means please Jian Qing J or Ju it's got two pronunciations Ju or J Jian Qing Ju Bian Ju Bian Qing Ju means this so we're going to go over uh, studying this and that today the differences between those two uh, before I do that I just want to go over yesterday's assignment We we're asking you to, we were talking about uh, practicing um, using way for respect language, right? And I asked you to do an assignment where you were going to take um, J way and use it in a sentence. And so here's some of the sentences that I made here. Uh, you can see the number one. Uh, I used this teacher, J way lao shi. J way lao shi shi li lao shi. Right? Li lao shi. J way lao shi. I'm using Jwei because she's a teacher, right? The student. So I used Jwei Xue Sheng Shi Mark. Jwei Xue Sheng Shi Mark. I give him a little respect, right? Um, the Xiao Zhang, a principal, would need some respect. So I said Jwei 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 Xiao Zhang Shi Miss Gamber. Jwei Xiao Zhang Shi Miss Gamber. JV, right? And the fourth one, this athlete, I used in, in a sentence like this. JV Yun Dong Yuan, Shi Simone Biles. I'm going to give her lots of respect because she's um, really excellent at what she does. So we use Wei, right? Instead of G, JV, right? In the video, waitress again asks Ji Wei, how many respectful people do you have in your party, right? Okay, so I hope you got that. Um, oh, let's see. Uh, so <clears throat> after she finds out how many people she ha he has, he's got two, right? Liang Wei, Liang Wei. So she says how, and um, what she means by how here is good. Okay, I got it, right? I got it. Okay, how. So sometimes you might hear how da or how. We we learned that how means uh, good, right? But here it means okay, right? Okay, how da how? If I if I ask you to come in, ching jin how? Ching zuo, please sit down how? You say okay how? So there's nothing to that one. What I want to focus on today are the uh, this and that in Chinese, which is in, in next handout. It's language point number. Um, sure, which number it is here? Looks like four. Okay, ju. It's pronounced ju. Or, yeah, basically ju shi, ju shi, ju shi, ju. It's kind of a hard pronunciation. Ju, ju. Right. Um, or J, if it's with a measure word, if it's got something a noun after, we're going to change that pronunciation to J. It's a little bit easier. J wei lao shi, jie ge xue xiao, this school. Jie ge tong xue, this classmate. Jie ben shu, this book. Jie zhi qian bi, this pencil. Jie zhang, uh, jie zhang bai ban, this whiteboard. Uh, you might be wondering what's the what's all the different words right after J in these sentences or Zhe. Um 
These are called measure words, and every noun in Chinese has a measure word, right? Um, I don't know if we talked about this in um, in our class. I think we might have, but uh, you know, just like um, just like every noun in English has some kind of uh, like a loaf of bread, a um, yeah, we did talk about this. A carton of milk, right? Um, a piece of paper, um, a box of cereal, right? It's the same same idea here. So we just have to learn gradually learn the right uh, measure words for the right verbs. So we have J V Lao Shi J G Xue Xiao J G Tong Xue. So we know that G goes with people, with books. J Ben Shu. This book, so we're going to use Ben. Ben is used for books and magazines and stuff like that, right? Zhi is going to go be used for animals. It's going to be used for um, pens and writing instruments of all kinds. Um, and Zhang is for bai ban, which is a whiteboard. Zhang is for used for small or for thin. Uh, Thin and flat things, right? Zhang, J Zhang, Bai Ban. So um, when we're going over to try, uh, we're going to do the opposite of those now. This, and what about that? That is na. This is zhe, na, zhe, na, zhe, na, right? So, um, so yeah, so that's uh, two that we have to get here, this and that. Uh, but it works the same way, as long as you get it, like, so what would na wei lao shi be? If jie wei lao shi is this teacher, na wei lao shi must be what? That, that teacher, right? If this school is jie ge xue xiao, then that school must be what, right? Um, must be Naga Chiao. So um, if this classmate is Jega Tong Shue, that classmate must be what? Naga. And if this book is Jiben Shu, that book must be what? Not Ben Shu. Let me just fix this up here. This is in the wrong places. Cool. Okay. Student. Good. And that book. And then we have two more to go here. If if this pencil is J J B, that pencil must be what? Major B, right? If this Whiteboard is J Zhang Bai Ban. That whiteboard must be Na Zhang Bai Ban, right? So this and that. That blackboard. That whiteboard, sorry. Right? So um 
so that takes care of that and um i think we'll uh we'll just do this much today i'll, I'll have a <clears throat> exercise over in the in in the assignment section so you can uh, practice this and make sure you get the this and the that before we go on and remember it's just it, the reason we're practicing this is it's coming from this line in the video um, two right how Ching this way if she wanted to point to a place farther away, she might say what? How na bian qing. Right? Go on over there. Na bian. But she says jie bian qing. Okay? So um uh, so that's it and um see you in the next lesson.